Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. This is your captain speaking, Sapphire Satoshi, and in this one, we're gonna be opening Pikachu V Union Box Celebrations Special Collection. I do have two. That's right. This is such a beautiful product that I had to get one for my sealed collection as well. We're gonna go with this one today. I did a coin flip. It was this box. These came directly from Pokemon Center. Look at how just beautiful the artwork is. All these Pikachus, 25 different Pikachus by 25 different artists. The 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Definitely a really cool way to celebrate 25 years of Pokemon. I didn't really care too much for the other three V Union boxes that they did. However, this one is just so cool, and I love how it's multiple Pikachus. The other ones are kind of weird in my opinion. Some of the cards are like a leg or an arm. This one is beautiful. This is gorgeous. So you get four Pikachu cards, four Celebrations packs, two additional packs, and then uh, we also get the Professor Burnett card in this as well, I believe. One last thing, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribing, and also feel free to check out the Instagram. I do post very frequently on there, different things about the TCG, how my collection journey is going, and I love talking to other people and seeing what they're up to, so please feel free to reach out on Instagram. Alright, Pikachu V Union Box, let's do it. Such a cool looking product, I love the color too, it's like golden almost, and you have all the starter Pokemon featured around here. As for most of the Celebrations products have that kind of thing going, but in my opinion, this is this is my favorite Celebrations product that they've done. Just artwork-wise, obviously the ECB is the best thing to open, but this is just so beautiful. And the promos you get, whew, definitely electrifies my interest. It's how they're sealed up in there, each of these individual little holders. If you want the code card for the box, Follow me on Instagram and DM me on there. I give away those big code cards to my Instagram followers. I'm gonna take these out of here. Okay, so it's like one big one. That's actually really smart. That's cool. So here is the Professor Burnett card. Search your deck for up to two cards and discard them, then shuffle your deck. Searcher card. Pretty cool. It's a helpful card according to the TCG. Whoever wrote the back of this, that's why it's in here. Here are the four Pikachu cards. These are so beautiful. I love these. If I haven't said it enough already, let's have a look at each one of them, all featuring different artworks that you may have seen before, referencing different times of Pokemon. I like that one back there. It looks like he's dancing or something. This one, his head is very large. So it tells you how to play Pokemon V Union right there. Once per game during your turn, combine four different Pikachu V Union from your discard pile and put them into your bench. So that's how to play it. Shocking shock. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. There you go. Always want to have some paralysis functionality. Here's the other one. Ooh, I really like that Pikachu there. He looks really cool. <laughs> there's the Pikachu holding its cheeks, and then there's that, that really funky, interesting style up there. Very cool. And I think all of them say, yeah, all of them have the how to play on here. Electro Ball together. Celebrating teamwork. That's definitely what this card is all about, or what this box is all about, these V Union boxes. Here's a look at the top left half of the card. This one, he's like falling or something. This one too, and this is a very happy looking one. I love it. They all either look so happy, but some of them have like these concerned looks on their face as well. And I don't even know what this one, what these two are doing. Union Gain. Attach up to two electric energy cards from your discard pile to this Pokemon. That's helpful, I'm sure. Last one. <laughs> love that artwork right there. Everyone knows that card. I feel like it's such a funny looking card. Funny looking artwork. Here's another one with kind of a concerned, surprised face on there. This one's just kind of looking off like, what? And then this this one's drawn in an interesting, an interesting art style. But yeah, so there are the Pikachu V Union cards. Really cool, really neat. Like I said, I'm glad that they're not some sort of like weird, um, you know, arms and legs of a giant Pikachu or whatnot, but they're four separate cards. There we go, that's about it. Look at that. But of course, you don't have to do that if you want to enjoy the artwork. You can just look at the big promo as well, which is so kind of them to include this, because I do think the four-piece cards are a little strange, but here you go. Probably one of the best jumbo cards to ever exist. 
So cool. Definitely something to hang on to for years to come. Inside of the box is even yellow too. Let's get these packs out of here. I haven't even gotten to the packs yet. Mercury is sealed behind this little plastic piece. Nice way to keep them in place, keep the cards safe. Get those four celebrations packs. And then we get battle styles and darkness ablaze in here. Nice. All right, darkness ablaze does have Charizard on the front. And once again, these came, oh, code cards backwards. These did come from the Pokemon Center. So the last time I got a green code card from a Darkness of Blaze card, uh, pack, it had a hollow at the end. Rose, Shinodic, Gotharita, Vanillite, looking up at the Morning Star there. Bunnelby, that's that psychedelic artwork, I love it. The Melon Monkey, Yeno, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme, and on the end, Decidueye here on the end. So that was a green code card. Hollow from a green is not normal. I don't know. There we go, though. Decidueye. I already had that one, but I do like the Rowlet line. All right, let's get in the Battle Styles pack, shall we? Love Battle Styles. Once again, I think this is a really cool set that gets overlooked, and it's still pretty easily available out there if you want to open some cards, I would say. There's definitely some cool cards in this set. Lots of potential to get something cool. Single Strike, Scroll of Scorn, Bisharp, Bronzor, Cacnea, Spoink. I love that artwork of Spoink in like the downtown area or the park and the fountain in the back. That's beautiful. Broly Coley down there. Ferrillish. The reverse. Durant. And it looks like we have a hit on the back here. It's going to be the Teeny V Max. Nice. All right. Mythical Pokemon from Gen 5. I'll take it. I don't have this card. That's a good hit. Spreading Flames and Max Victory. Victini will lead us to victory, hopefully with our Celebrations Packs. I'm always happy to pick up a card we don't have, so that's a good pull. Let's get into the first of the Celebrations Packs, the main event. This is why everyone's here, I'm assuming. Here's a Lugia again. I have seen now that that misprint, it looks like they ran into ink or something, and that's on a lot of copies of this card, but that's... I believe a misprint or like the ink running out. Oh, look over here. So look at like its tail and whatnot too. There's a lot of just not good print quality on some of these cards, especially Lugia and Ho-Oh that I have noticed. Sad because they're awesome Pokemon. There's Xerneas. Camera won't focus. Xerneas, the deer from Gen 6. There we go. Have... Oh, yeah. Yes! Yes! I didn't even say it, but this is the card that I wanted. Wow, I forgot to say it when we started it. Birthday Pikachu, how did you know? Earlier today I was like, I'm gonna open this up. How cool would it be if I pulled Birthday Pikachu out of the V Union box? Look at the centering on it. That's really good. This is such a colorful, colorful card. Wow, what a great moment to capture on camera. This is why I record my pack openings. Thank you if you're watching this, I appreciate that. But I'm really recording this just to remember stuff like this. I wanted this card so bad, even though it's like a pretty <laughs> easy pull. This is just one of those artworks where it's like really, really hard to get. I was considering buying an original one for a while, but then they, they did this. So now we can just get the artwork. I love how colorful this card is and it's textured. Birthday surprise. If it's not your birthday, this attack does 30 damage. If it is your birthday, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 damage plus 50 more damage. If tails, this attack does 30 damage. What a beautiful card. Pikachu's about to eat the cake. The cake might be a lie. I don't know. I don't trust cake ever since uh, the Thousand Year Door Glitzville episode. Genuinely so happy. This was my favorite card out of the whole set, I think. This birthday Pikachu. Let's see what's on the end here. It's only the first pack of celebrations. We have oh, Serpent Pikachu VMAX again. I love it. I love this card so much. I pulled this from the ETB. Look at that pack. Double Pikachu from the Pikachu V Union box. That's what I want to see. I love this set. What a great opening experience. I love celebrations. Pikachu V Max with the SSN there. Hanging 10. Kawabunga. All right, I'm so happy with the pulls now. I don't even care what we get anymore, but 
if we get another classic collection card, that'd be beautiful. I haven't pulled any of the base set ones yet, any of the base set reprints. Um, so, you know, maybe we get those at some point. I still have a few Celebrations products to open up. There's Ho-Oh. This is like my second one. I've opened um, not that much Celebrations, but I feel like I have a lot of Mews, and I only got one Ho-Oh. A lot of the other ones, Ho-Oh has evaded us. I love this Pokemon. One of my favorite legendaries. There's Lugia again. I'm not, like, do I comment on this every time I see it? <laughs> There's Zekarom, and then we have Solgaleo here on the end with Lily in the background. I really like that artwork of that card. This one's really cool. All right, another pack of Celebrations. One of the best sets you can open right now if you just want to have some fun opening cards, in my opinion. It's definitely worth it if you can get your, get your hands on some, hopefully easily available. There's your vital. Speaking of uh, commons that are kind of hard to pull, I also only have one of these, and I feel like I have a ton of Xerneas. Only got one of these, but now there's my second one. There's Dialga, and yes, Rocket's Admin. Didn't have this one yet. So, earlier when I said there's some cards in here, I don't know why they did them. I kind of understand now. I guess this card had some playability back in the day. It was uh, it made some moves, so... I understand that there's cards like that in here, like Playdoll is another one, uh, but that's really cool. There it is, Rocket's Admin from 2004, featuring Persian, nice, and on the end we have Flying Pikachu V, there he is, Flying Pikachu card, I already have this one, but I love it, so colorful, these, these Pikachu cards are just the best. So look at that pack, there you go, I love it when you get that double whammy in there. All right, the final pack of the video. Thank you so much if you are still watching. I'd say we got some pretty good hits. We got two classic collection cards out of four packs. That's about the odds. It's like a 50% pull rate for the classic collection. Lugia, they did wrong by her in this. Yes, I'm saying her because I'm sure everyone knows by now, but Lugia is supposed to be a female when the guy created it. So it's a her, but I hate that. I hate that so much. They did her so wrong. There's Xerneas, the life-giving deer. Beautiful. There's Kyogre. Nice. I love Kyogre. I love this card. One of the coolest cards in the set. A scene from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. You have the rocket admin swimming down in the ocean with Kyogre. That's really cool. And our last card is going to be Mew. Yay. I'll always take this one, too. I'll take as many of these as I can get. I love Mew. It's such a cute card. I'm so glad that they gave Mew... This card, and then I also the gold secret rare, which we have yet to pull. All right, so a quick little recap of what we got here. Rockets Admin, competitive playability back in 2004. Flying Pikachu V, I love it. Love to see these Pikachu cards, especially from the Pikachu box. Victini V Max definitely led us to victory with our celebrations packs, considering we got the chase card and the one that I really, really wanted. Birthday Pikachu, what a great moment, a great pull. And then not only that, we did get Surfing Pikachu VMAX as well, which I already had, but I love that card. I love it so much. Such good artwork, a chunky Pikachu on the wave there. Kawabunga, thank you so much for watching. Good luck with your celebrations pulls. Let me know in the comments if you managed to pick up one of these. Thank you Pokemon Center for sending me the exact card that I wanted. I don't know how they knew. I guess they're a bunch of mind readers. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.